What do you expect from Gypsy? Because in earlier hearings, and we'll listen to it in a minute, you know, she's not going to throw Martin McNeil under the bus. It's going to be, uh, you know, we didn't really think about a future before Michelle's death. Right, Jeff? That's right. I mean, Mike, the thing about it is this. Merely admitting the affair gives sort of a motive to begin with. And then there's the interesting thing of did she make statements to her roommates that would seem to indicate that she wanted uh, 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 the wife dead. So those are the two things. The affair itself, that's good for the state because it provides a, a motive. And then if they can get anything close to these statements that she may have made to the roommates, which I doubt she'll admit, uh, they've got something to work with. Yeah, you know, we just heard that, and we'll, we'll talk about that as well, that, yeah, this was not just some fling. You wanted Michelle out of the way. You wanted to cut her brake lines. And some That's roommate, big if they get it yeah, in. Yeah, right? some That's roommate big. allegedly had to tell her she's got kids. The kids are going to be in the car. And she shoots back. Oh, they'll, they'll be all right. They're sitting in car seats. Wow, all of that's coming up. Well, let's listen, though, yesterday as it was just sad to watch. Rachel McNeil, the oldest daughter of Michelle and Martin, gets on the stand, and she talks about Gypsy. She can barely even utter her name. So let's watch a little bit of that, Jeff, and we'll get your comments coming out. You describe Gypsy moving in as the nanny. Mm -hmm. Do you see her function as the nanny? As a, as a nanny? Yes. She didn't do anything that I'd seen related to the children. I mean, she... What did you expect to see? I, I expected her to be focused on the children. I expected her to do things related to that, to, to cook or clean or take care of the children. And what did you see her doing? My dad was cooking. She was sitting there staring at my dad, things like that. I mean, she, the, the children were taking care of themselves or eight of us left alone. She's running down the <laughs> sidewalk. I mean, there was nobody looking after the children. It was a... It was very, very different than it was when my mother was there. I mean, there was, Ada wasn't allowed to just ride her bike down the sidewalk by herself. Nobody's looking. All right, again, Jeff, great for the state when, when you get, you know, because it paints the picture of Martin McNeil obsessed. Get the wife out of the way, get Gypsy in the house, and he's got, uh, you know, his new life on, on the way, right? Possible. I mean, the human drama in a courtroom, when you have uh, the children of a defendant basically testifying or testifying against that defendant is great. Will it be enough to overcome the lack of scientific evidence, i.e. the cause of death? I don't know. But dramatic testimony. Mike, think about a couple cases in the past. There's one with Rabbi Newlander that Court TV covered where the son did not testify against the father of the rabbi in the first trial, and it was a mistrial. He testified against the father in the second trial. He was convicted. And then think about Matt Sandusky out in Belfont, PA, mm -hmm. who was called perhaps as a rebuttal witness, and that came, kept Jerry Sandusky off the stand. Great human drama when, a, when a, 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 a child testifies against a parent. And we're watching it. We just saw the video there. Martin McNeil's eyes were shifty. You know, he yeah. couldn't even look at, at Rachel. And Rachel, heartbreaking testimony, especially early on, Jeff, when she says, growing up, my dad was my best friend. Now she believes dad murdered mom. Right. Now, the other side of it, Mike, is, you know, can the defense say, listen, you're upset with dad because he cheated on mom. And so you think he's a horrible, terrible scum, but does that mean he, he murdered uh, the mom? So there is a way for the defense to say, we know you don't like him, we know that's why you're testifying against him, because you think he was a scum, but doesn't make him a murderer. Okay, we're going to continue our coverage. Again, toxicologist testifying, we'll let you know that, what, what the toxicologist says about the drugs in Michelle McNeil's system. Also still to come, Gypsy 